Hi everyone and welcome to your collective tarot messages. So this message here is intended for all signs. It's not for one individual sign here. So if you've clicked on this reading, then there's obviously something here that's meant for you. Okay, I feel like the very things and the people that we're drawn to in life is not random. It is not coincidental. It is purposeful. So there may be just a message in here that you're meant to hear or it might help you with something. It might provide you some confirmation or clarity on your journey and where you're at. So for whatever reason you have clicked on this reading, there's, um, I believe there's something here for you. We're also not going to pose a question here. We're just going to give the cards a shuffle and just see what messages you are meant to hear at this particular point in time. And these messages can relate to any matter Okay, so it can be love or romance, it can be career or it just can be any general or spiritual messages that are also coming up for you here guys. So let's go ahead and begin. <clears throat> oh, before we begin, I also want to mention that this is going to be a general reading. So guys, please just keep that in mind. If you're after a personalized tarot reading with myself, please feel free to reach out and inquire. I will list my email address below the video here. are just flying out aren't they Let's see if we can get a couple more cards here Okay, I feel like for some of you, I can feel that your your world right now isn't necessarily perfect. Okay, there's been some. I feel like some of you have had some tension, some conflict here. Um, some of you have your hearts broken. Some of you feel like you're stuck. You're stuck in some sort of routine which isn't working for you. You're stuck in a relationship here which isn't growing. Or you're stuck in an area of your life which is very st stagnated and it's not transforming here. So um, life obviously comes with storms here. But I feel like there is something that for some of you there's a door that is closing. Or there's a door that needs to be closed. It might be on a certain chapter on your life. It might be um, to end a specific career. It might be to end a specific situation. But I feel like it's important for you to know that. Um, and for some of you, I do feel like whatever it is that's ending for you here, it's kind of leaving you a little bit shattered. It's kind of leaving you sad and disappoint disappointed because you feel like it's being taken away from you. Um, but I feel like what you need to um, remember that is because when one door closes for you, another is opening. Okay, so um, and for you, I just feel like some of you feel like there was a door that's being slammed shut right in front of your face. Like you might have met someone romantically and then all of a sudden they might have, you know, you guys were really getting on very well. And all of a sudden they've just ghosted you abruptly. Um, some of you, you know, you may have had um, a very opportunistic um you know, business endeavor here, but then that was, uh, you know, for some reason that might have ended very quickly, or it just feels like, you know, something, something here is being taken away from you, someone here has turned their back on you here, but I feel like what you need to understand is that 
um, there's a bigger opportunity here that's waiting for you, a, a greater blessing that's coming to you. So, you know, if, if losing a relationship or if losing a romantic energy here, having someone walked away from you, if you feel like that's leaving you uh, shattered, to me, it feels like it's only a protection. I feel like it's the universe here protecting you from um, something, you know, something that could have been a lot more harmful to you here. Um, and it's also the universe saying that you shouldn't settle for something less because I feel like even though one door may be opening for you I feel like one door is closing for you another is opening for you and feel it feels like you're not being let down even though it might feel that way emotionally and energetically you might feel like you know someone is wanting to take an exit from your life or an opportunity here didn't present itself to you even though you were looking for it and some of you are losing that motivation and you're feeling very stuck you feel like you're doing the work but you're not seeing the results or um, and for some of you I feel like it's important to the message that I get whatever it is that you're working on whether it's a business idea whether it's a relationship or whether it's you know you want to improve certain areas of your life you gotta go back to where you started <clears throat> you've come a long way and you've still got a long way to go but you have to go back to where you started because I feel like there is strength in going back to the root of something there is a strength and a motivation and inspiration that lies there especially if it is a passion of some sort here um, you will have your success you will have your own success is what I see for you you will also have your wins and you will also have your losses okay but sometimes a loss oftentimes a loss leads to a win and oftentimes you know if things don't work out, try, try again until you succeed here. Some of you, I feel like you have to let go of, you kind of have to let go of things that are no longer meant for you, okay? That means relationships that no longer work for you. Um, that means career paths that are just keeping you stagnated, um, friendships, business uh, opportunities, whatever it, you know, whatever it is that you feel like is keeping you stuck here. You kind of have to release negativity. You have to allow yourself to heal. You have to let go because I feel like there are certain people or certain situations that are keeping you stuck. And the reason why you feel stagnated is because essentially you're settling, okay? You're trying to fit yourself into something that you've outgrown a long time ago, whether it's a relationship, whether it's a marriage, a connection here, whether it's a business, whether it's a company, your company, whatever it is. If you feel stuck, it's it's not a good it's not a good thing you know um but i feel like if you uh, look closely then you would then you will soon come to realize okay it would soon be illuminated to you that there's a reason why you're feeling this way is that something here has stopped serving its purpose and the reality is you shouldn't be holding on to things that are no longer meant for you because the longer that you hold on to these things and the longer that you try and force these things um, the longer that you're going to suffer, the longer that you're going to keep feeling stagnated here. So there's a moment for you to let go. I feel like let go of control, um, let go of trying to, you know, preempt a certain outcome, preempt a certain, manipulate a certain situation. I feel like you kind of, some of you are stuck in a negative situation and you kind of have to see things in a different light here. Um, and I'm also seeing that everything is going to work out for you. It will. I feel like there's something here that you've been working on. Whether it's a relationship, whether it's connection, um, you know, whether it's you working on yourself and doing some um, inner healing, some inner work here. Whatever it is that you're working on will generate results and you will have your success here. I feel like the verdict is set now. Okay, You have to decide to go on your own journey here. Okay, it's not being selfish. It's not, you have to start thinking about yourself and where is it that you want to go, okay? What, you know, what type of person do you want to become? Who do you want to end up with? Where do you want to end up in life? This journey means that you're going to have to remove some people from your life. You're going to have to remove some negativity, toxicity and conflict behind, okay? Um, you're not being selfish for it. You're not. So if you feel selfish in a sense, you're not. This time around, I feel like you have to let go. You have to let go. And I'm seeing, notice how the both the cloaked figures here, they have their back turned towards one another. I feel like you have to close one door before you can open a brand new one. You have to say goodbye to an old energy if you want to welcome in a new energy. Or, you know, you have to shed your skin if you want to rejuvenate here. I just feel like you have to kind of, there's a situation that you sort of have to, 
a situation or a circumstance that you have to overcome and you're going to be bolder and stronger and so much more braver for it here. Taking a leap of faith here. Um, taking a step back so you can so that you can move forward here is the message that I'm getting for you. I feel like you'll know here. What do I get this feeling? I feel like okay, bottom of the deck here, you've got the Queen of Cups. I get this message that you will know, okay, and you will int intuitively know. It'll feel right. And this is why I feel like I had to say that because I just felt like there's some sort of connection there. So Queen of Cups, most intuitive um, energy out of the deck here. So I feel like you will know when you're on the right track in life, okay? You will know when you find the right person. You will know when you find the right opportunity for you, when you, you know, find the right um, friendship, you know, the right um, job. You'll know when you're on the right track here. It'll just be this, it just, it'll just be this feeling that will come to you it, and this feeling will be different for all of you okay for some of you it might come in the in the fluttering of a heartbeat in you know weak at the knees or just this reassurance all of you are individuals and you're going to feel this feeling very differently but you will know you will just feel it however it fit, it will feel to you it'll just feel right here okay so you're so close to something i feel like there's a breakthrough here you're not at the finish line just shit here but I feel like there's something here that you've been working on, whether it's building a, a connection with someone, working on a project here. Don't go around bouncing from thing to thing, you know, never really feeling satisfied or never feeling like you've completed something or like, you know, you've achieved something or you belong here. I feel like something you, there's something here in your life that you're working on. For some of you, it's an artistic creative project that I'm picking up. It could be like a book. It could be like a film or photography or something that you've been working on for the others of you maybe it's studying here you know um, you've been really trying to um, get really good grades and you've been um, very studious in that sense but you just feel like you're not you know you're not seeing this breakthrough for others of you maybe it's you've been doing some inner work and you just feel like that hasn't showed up right for others of you it's like you've been trying to really work on rebuilding a relationship here or a marriage or a connection of some sort but the message I feel for you like the message that I get for you is there's something that you have in your life here which has the potential to be so much more than it is. Like it, it has a potential to be good and I mean really good. But if you just simply keep at it and if you just simply let it be here, okay? Some of you I feel like the right things will come here. And s some it feels like... I feel like the right circumstances and the right people will come into your life and I don't think you're going to have to compromise for... Um, for any of these people or things to come into your life here. You won't have to compromise, not out of fear, not, you know, you won't have to compromise your, your situation, your time here. I just feel like the right things will sort of flow to you, you know, and they will flow to you readily and you'll be readily, you know, able to embrace them um, in your arms here. Or you'll be ready to embrace the situation here. Okay. I know it sounds very cliche, but what's right, you'll know when it's right. You'll feel it, okay? And if you don't feel it just yet, maybe that very thing that you're working on or the very person that you're with or the very thing that you're trying to repair, salvage, maybe that's not right. Because you feel some sort of, uh, you'll feel some sort of confirmation in your life. And that confirmation will come... It can come in many forms, guys. It can come in the form of a tarot reading, whether from this reading itself or from any other reading out there. It can come in the form of a dream. It can come in the form of a song lyric or a quote that you read. or just It can come in different forms, but you'll feel some sort of confirmation that you're on the right track with the right person or you're doing the right, right thing. Um, it's this sense of everything around you you know, sort of adding up, making sense here. I feel like things are falling. Some things are going to fall apart before they come together here for you. Okay, so eight of cups, you'll have to walk away from something or someone will have to walk away um, in order for something to fall apart in, 
and it feels like it's some sort of natural progression so you might you know you might someone might ghost you but then in doing so they create new space for someone else to come along you know you might be rejected from one job opportunity or one offer but then that will pave way for another to um, open up to you so it just feels like something here is falling apart but then it's coming back it's coming together here something else is coming together in a very big and powerful way here and then that's when you'll under that's when you'll know deep inside here that you know why you had to let go of something or why you had to close one door here so that another could open up or why you know someone had to say no so the right person could say yes i just feel like you know deep down inside you'll know why something didn't work out so that something bigger and better could have taken its place here so understand that right now you're on your own journey here and your own journey is one of transformation it's one of healing here it's one of letting go okay letting go of people places circumstances anything that is holding you back in a very negative way here okay and it does mean letting go of some people who just no longer fit your life or circumstances that no longer fit your life because hey you outgrew those people you outgrew those circumstances so why would you want to shrink yourself to fit in something that you've outgrew a long time ago here and you can't blame other people for not seeing things from your perspective here okay because your journey is your own okay and some of you i feel like you are on the edge of a precipice here. All you have to do is take some sort of leap of faith. And how will you know? It'll just feel right. Again, I know it sounds very cliche, but trust those intuitive associations that you get. Trust those intuitive nudges. Trust. Learn to trust your gut. Learn to trust your feeling here. Alright guys, so these are some very powerful messages and I feel like some of you really needed to hear that. I just want to thank you all for your time, your energy um, and your um, attention. It's greatly appreciated. Thank you guys for your support. If you haven't already, please show your support by liking, sharing and subscribing to the channel. Thanks again. Bye for now.